Hi friends, welcome to channel Agribiotic. I am Ganesh Thakur. In this video, we will discuss on some important and previously asked questions from reproduction chapter. This video is important for those who are preparing for NEET and other competitive exams. So try to solve all the questions and write in the comment box how much questions you solved correctly. So let's see the first question. How many nuclei take parts in double fertilization of flowering plants? And the given options are 2, 3, 4 and 6. And here the correct option would be C, 4. The fusion of one male gamete with the egg and another male gamete with the secondary nucleus is called double fertilization. Since two type of fusions, syngamy and triple fusion take place in an embryo sac, the phenomena is termed as double fertilization, an event unique to flowering plants. A total five nuclei take part in double fertilization, sometimes called four as the two polar nuclear fuses to form one. So here for this question, correct answer would be four. Next question, sexual mode of reproduction in protozoa and the options are anisogamy, plasmogamy, plasmotomy and schizogony. And here the correct answer is A. Anisogamy. The fusion of two different gametes which differ in size, shape and behavior is called anisogamy. So here the correct option would be A. Anisogamy. Come to the next question, flagellated male gametes are present in all the three of which one of the following sets? Anthocerus, Funaria and Spirogyra, Zygnema, Sprolegmia and Hydrilla, Rixia, Dryopteris and Cycus, and last one Fucus, Marsilia and Calyptropis. And here the correct option would be C. Rixia, Dryopteris and Cycus. Flagellated male gametes are present in Rixia, Dryopteris and Cycus. So for this question, correct answer would be C. Come to the next question. Seminal plasma in human males is rich in fructose and calcium, glucose and calcium, DNA and testosterone, ribose and potassium. And here the correct answer is A. Fructose and Calcium. Seminal fluid is fluid that emitted from the male reproductive tract and that contain sperm cells. It is also called semen. Seminal plasma in human males are rich in fructose, calcium and certain enzymes. So for this question correct answer would be A. Fructose and Calcium. Next question is. Testes descends into scrotum in mammals for fertilization, development of sex organs, spermatogenesis and development of visceral organs. And here the correct answer is C. Spermatogenesis. For sperm formation, spermatogenesis requires low temperature. So testes descends into scrotum in mammals for spermatogenesis. So, for this question, correct answer would be C. Spermatogenesis. Next question, structure absent in frog's testes is and the given options are interstitial cells, sertoli cells, seminiferous tubules and seminal vesicles. And the correct option would be B. Sertoli cells. Sertoli cells are the characteristic of testes of mammals. So these cells are absent in frogs. So here the correct option would be B. Sertoli cells. Come to the next question. The ovule attached to the placenta of ovary wall by micropyle, raphe, funicle and hilum. And here the correct option would be C. Funicle. 
A filamentous stalk attaching a seed or ovule to the placenta is called funicle. So for this question correct answer would be C funicle. Next question is which one of the following propagates through leaf tips? And the options given are walking fern, moss, sprout leaf plant and marchensia. And here the correct option would be A walking fern. In walking fern, the tips of leaves given out adventitious roots when comes in contact with the soil and produce new leaves and develop new plant. Walking fern is also called as adiantum. So for this question correct answer would be A. Walking fern. Come to the next question. What would be the number of chromosomes of the alluron cells? of a plant with 42 chromosomes in its root tip cells and the options given are 84, 63, 21 and 42 and here the correct option would be B63. The alluron layer is the outermost layer of endosperm that is 3N. Since the cells of alluron layer are triploid the number of chromosomes would be 63. So, for this question, correct option would be B, 63. Next question, development of sporophyte directly from the gametophytic tissue called Parthenogenesis, Parthenocarpy, Apogamy and Apospory. And here, the correct answer is C, Apogamy. Development of sporophyte directly from the gametophytic tissue without fusion of gametes is called apogamy. While apospory is the production of gametophytes directly from the diploid cells of the sporophyte without spore formation. So, for this question, correct option would be C. Apogamy. Come to the next question. Chromosome number is halved during and the options given are meiosis 2, formation of first polar body, formation of second polar body and division of secondary oocytes. And here the correct option would be B formation of first polar body. Meiosis 1 takes place in primary oocyte and the formation of first polar body and secondary oocyte takes place and chromosome number becomes halved. So for this question, correct option would be B, formation of first polar body. Next question, long ribbon like pollen grains are seen in some and the given options are aquatic plants, gymnosperms, wind pollinated grasses and bird pollinated flowers and here the correct option would be a aquatic plants in most aquatic plants pollen grains are ribbon like and long and are protected from wetting mucilaginous covering hence for this question correct option is a aquatic plants come to the next question process of fusion of haploid cells is and the options given are meiosis, mitosis, syngamy and cell cycle. And here the correct option is C. Syngamy. Syngamy is the process of fusion of two haploid cells that is one male gamete and one female gamete. So here for this question correct Answer is C. Singami. Next question is Vegetative fertilization is also known as and the options given are Singami, Triple Fusion, True Fertilization and Generative Fertilization. And here the correct answer is Triple Fusion. During syngamy, first male gamete fuses with a female gamete and zygote is formed. 
then other male gamete that is the second male gamete migrate toward the secondary nucleus and fuses with it this phenomena is known as triple fusion and results in the formation of triploid primary endosperm mother cell triple fusion is also known as vegetative fertilization so for this question correct answer is b triple fusion come to the next question insect pollinated flowers have pollen with large quantity large sized pollen sticky pollen with rough surface small pollen with dry surface and here the correct answer is c sticky pollen with rough surface due to the sticky and rough surface of pollen grains these are attached to the insect's body parts which help in transfer of pollen from one flower to another flower so for this question correct answer would be c sticky pollen with rough surface hi friends welcome to channel agri biotech i am ganesh thakur in this video we will discuss on some important and previously asked questions from reproduction chapter this is second part of video need biology reproduction so let's see the questions hydra reproduces by budding this is an example of and the given options are a sexual reproduction b asexual reproduction c regeneration and d abnormal development and here the correct answer is b a sexual reproduction the type of reproduction which involves simple division of the organism and involvement of only one parent is a sexual reproduction it does not involve the fusion of gametes binary fusion in bacteria budding in hydra fragmentation in black worm are types of a sexual reproduction so for this question correct answer would be b a sexual reproduction next question is which is present in male rabbit and not in female rabbit and the given options are a urethra b vagina c vas deferens d uterus and here the correct option would be c vas deferens vas deferens is not present in female rabbit because it is associated with male sex organs the vas deferens also called ductus deferens transports sperm from epididymis to the ejaculatory duct in anticipation of ejaculation so for this question correct answer is c vas deferens come to the next question capacitation of sperm in mammals involve and the given options are sperm size change acrosome reaction nuclear chromatin change and mitochondrial alignment and here the correct option is b acrosome reaction sperm capacitation is the acquisition of capacity to penetrate an ovum not present at the time of delivery of spermatozoon and which require a period of incubation in the female tract capacitation must take place for the acrosome reaction to occur and hence for this question correct option would be b acrosome reaction next question is zift that is z i f t is the transfer of embryo into uterus transfer of zygote into the fallopian tube transfer of mixture of sperms and ova into the fallopian tube and transfer of mixture of sperms and ova into the uterus and here the correct answer is b transfer of zygote into the fallopian tube zygote intra fallopian transfer 
ZIFT is similar to in vitro fertilization and GIFT gamete intrafallopian transfer but in this procedure eggs are fertilized in lab and then placed into fallopian tubes so here correct option would be B transfer of zygote into fallopian tube is ZIFT come to the next question new cellar polyembryony is reported in species of and the options given are a gossypium b triticum c citrus and d brassica and here the correct option would be c citrus polyembryony is the occurrence of more than one embryo in seed Citrus and mango are the best example of polyembryony. In such species, ovule contain many embryos, that is, new cellular polyembryony. Hence, for this question, correct option would be C. Citrus. Next question: In porogamy, pollen tube enters the ovule through, and the options given are A. Chalazal end, B. Micropyle. C integument D ovary wall and here the correct option would be B micropyle micropyle is a small opening in the surface of an ovule through which the pollen tube enters to the ovule and hence for this question correct option would be B micropyle next question Endosperm is consumed by developing embryo in seed of maize, pea, castor and coconut. And here the correct option would be B. P. In P, endosperm is consumed by developing embryo and food reserve gets stored in cotyledons. So for this question correct answer would be B. P. Come to the next question. Filiform apparatus is a characteristic feature of and the options given are egg, zygote, synergid and suspensor. And here the correct option is C. Synergid. Filiform apparatus is highly thickened structure of synergid cell wall at the micropylar end consisting of numerous finger-like projections into the synergid cytoplasm. So for this question correct answer is C. Synergid. Next question. Fusion of dissimilar gametes is known as and the options given are dichogamy, autogamy, fertilization and allogamy. And here the correct answer is C. Fertilization. Fertilization is the fusion of two haploid gametes, that is, egg and sperm, to form the diploid zygote. And hence, for this question, correct option would be C. Fertilization. Come to the next question. Sperm acrosome is derived from A. Endoplasmic reticulum B. Golgi bodies C. Lysosome D. Mesosome and here the correct option would be B. Golgi bodies. Acrosome is developed over the anterior half of the head in the spermatozoa. It is a cap like structure derived from the Golgi complex. And hence for this question correct answer would be B. Golgi bodies. Come to the next question. The fertilization in which male gametes are carried through pollen tube is known as and the options given are syngamy, siphonogamy, porogamy and chalazogamy. And here the correct option would be B. Siphonogamy. Siphonogamy is the fusion of male and female gametes in seed plants and it occurs with the help of pollen tube. Pollen tube may enter the ovule by porogamy, chalazogamy or mesogamy. So for this question correct option would be B. Siphonogamy. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन ह्यूमन बींग्स नॉर्मली इन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पार्ट डज द स्पम फर्टिलाइज द ओवम एंड द गिवेन ऑप्शन आर लोअर पार्ट ऑफ यूटेरस अपर पार्ट ऑफ यूटेरस फेलोपियन ट्यूब एंड सर्विक्स एंड हियर द करेक्ट एंसर इज सी फेलोपियन ट्यूब फेलोपियन ट्यूब इज द साइट ऑफ फर्टिलाइजेशन इन मेमेल्स एंड द एम्ब्रियो डेवलप्स इन फेलोपियन ट्यूब अप टू ब्लास्टोसिस्ट स्टेज सो फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन करेक्ट ऑप्शन वुड बी सी फेलोपियन ट्यूब नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्रिजेंथेम मल्टीप्लाइज वेजिटेटिवली बाय ए सकर्स बी रनर्स सी स्टोलन्स एंड डी राइजोम्स एंड हियर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन वुड बी ए सकर्स सकर इज अ टर्म फॉर अ बेसल शूट डैट ग्रोस फ्रॉम द बेस ऑफ अ ट्री और श्रब क्रिजेंथेम मल्टीप्लाइज वेजिटेटिवली बाय सकर्स so for this question correct option would be a suckers come to the next question some flowers possess pleasant odor and attractive color for and the given options are anof anemophily hydrophily entomophily and all of the above so here the correct option would be c entomophily Entomophily is a type of pollination that takes place with the help of insects. Entomophilous flower are usually brightly colored and scented and often secrete nectar to attract insects. So, here the correct option would be C, entomophily. So, the last question of this video is how many sperm cells are present in an average 3 ml ejaculation and the given options are 200 million 500 million 300 million and 400 million and here the correct answer is c 300 million on an average 3 ml ejaculation of semen contains about 300 million spermatozoa so for this question correct option would be c 300 million hi friends welcome to channel agri biotech i am ganesh thakur in this video we will discuss on some important and previously asked questions from reproduction chapter this is the third part of video neat biology reproduction so let's see the questions first question is the early stage human embryo possesses and the given options are a eyebrows b gills c gill slits and d external air that is pinnae and here the correct answer is c gill slits the early stage human embryo possesses gill slits so for this question correct option would be c gill slits come to the next question when pollen tube enters through micropyle the process is called a porogamy b chalazogamy c apogamy and d mesogamy and here the correct answer is a porogamy porogamy is the condition when the pollen tube enters the ovule from the micropylar end chalazogamy is the condition of entering of pollen tube from chalaza mesogamy is the condition when the pollen tube enters via the integuments and apogamy is a type of reproduction in which the sporophyte develops from the gametophyte without fusion of gametes so for this question correct option would be a porogamy when pollen tube enters through micropyle the process is called porogamy next question is in human the oocyte is maintained in a state of meiotic arrest by secretion of and the options given are a zona pellucida b cumulus oophorus 
C. Granulosa cells and D. Thicca. And here the correct answer is C. Granulosa cells. A granulosa cell or follicular cell is a somatic cell of the sex cord that is closely associated with the developing female gamete called an oocyte or egg in the ovary of mammals. The major function of granulosa cells include the production of sex steroids as well as myriad of growth factors thought to interact with the oocyte during its development. So for this question correct option would be C granulosa cells. Come to the next question. Shion is the term used in relation to embryology, grafting, agamospermy, emasculation and here the correct answer is B grafting. Grafting is a horticultural technique where Tissues of two plants are joined so as to continue their growth together. The upper part of the combined plant is called the shion while the lower part is called the root stalk. Hence for this question correct answer is B grafting. Next question. The function of copper T is to prevent and the given options are egg maturation implantation of blastocyst, fertilization and ovulation. For this question correct option would be B. Implantation of blastocyst. Copper T is a small device made up of copper which is inserted into the uterus. It prevents implantation of blastocyst. So for this question correct option would be B. Come to the next question. In the human female, menstruation can be deferred by the administration of A. LH only B. Combination of FSH and LH C. Combination of estrogen and progesterone and D. FSH only And here the correct option would be C. Combination of estrogen and progesterone when the production of progesterone and estrogen hormone stops in blood, this leads to shed of the lying of uterine endometrium. Therefore, by supply of estrogen and progesterone, the menstruation can be deferred. So for this question, correct option would be C. Next question, if for some reason, the vasa efferentia in human reproductive system get blocked. The gametes will not be transported from a epididymis to vas deferens, b ovary to uterus, c testes to epididymis, and d vagina to uterus. And here the correct answer is c testes to epididymis. Vasa efferentia connect red testes with an epididymis. If the vasa efferentia get blocked, the sperm will not be transported from testes to epididymis. So for this question correct option would be C. Testes to epididymis. Come to the next question. Anemophily is pollinated by and the given options are water, insects, air and birds. And here the correct option would be C. Air. When pollen is transported by wind, this is called anemophily. So for this question, correct option would be C. Air. Next question is Notochord, skeletal and dermis of the skin are the derivatives of endoderm, mesoderm, ectoderm and all of the above. And here the correct option is B. Mesoderm. Mesoderm, the middle of the three germ layer or masses of cells which appears early in the development of an embryo. In vertebrates, it subsequently gives rise to muscle, connective tissue, cartilage, 
bone, notochord, blood, bone marrow, lymphoid tissue and to the epithelia of blood vessels, lymphatic vessels, body cavities, kidneys, uterus, gonad, genital duct, adrenal cortex and certain other tissues. So for this question correct option would be mesoderm. Notochord, skeletal and dermis of the skin are the derivatives of mesoderm. Come to the next question. Cavity of graphene follicle is called and the given options are A. Ventrocoil B. Blastocoil C. Antrum and D. Archentrum and here the correct option would be C. Antrum Cavity of graphene follicle is called antrum The cavity of follicle that is antrum is filled with a fluid called the liquid folliculi which has a high concentration of estrogens so for this question correct answer is c antrum cavity of graphene follicle is called antrum come to the next question in human the unpaired male reproductive structure is a prostate b seminal vesicle c bulbourethral gland and D testes and here the correct answer is a prostate the prostate is a single walnut sized gland located between the bladder and the penis the urethra runs through the center of the prostate the prostate secretes fluid that nourishes and protects sperm so for this question correct option would be a prostate Next question, which of the following is pollinated by water? And the given options are Viola, Yucca, Zostera and Oxalis. And here the correct answer is C. Zostera. Pollination with the water is called hydrophily. Plants which occur below the water level are called submerged plants. When pollination occurs in these plants, it is called hypohydrophily. Examples are Zostera, Nazas, etc. So, for this question, correct option would be C. Zostera. Come to the next question. Corpus luteum releases estrogen, progesterone, androgen, and all of the above. And here, the correct option is B. Progesterone The corpus luteum secretes progesterone which is a steroid hormone responsible for the growth and maintenance of fetus. The corpus luteum is essential for establishing and maintaining pregnancy in females. So for this question correct option would be B. Progesterone Corpus luteum releases progesterone come to the next question gametes are formed in animals from and the given options are a muscular tissue b nervous tissue c epithelial tissue and d all of the above and here the correct option would be c epithelial tissue gametes are formed from the cells of germinal epithelium which is a simple epithelial tissue so for this question correct option would be C epithelial tissue gametes are formed in animals from epithelial tissue and the last question of this video is structure connecting the fetus of placenta is a amnion b corian c umbilical cord and d yolk sac and here the correct option is c umbilical cord the umbilical cord connects the developing embryo or fetus with the placenta. So for this question correct option would be C umbilical cord. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share our channel Agribiotic. Thank you.